Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, your plant friend Abel. So, in this episode, I will be talking or rather I'll be showing with you my interior plants that I transitioned from my coco core, perlite and bark into pumice and lava rock. You guys, I've been talking about these substrate about a month now. This week is going to be my third week in you guys. I cannot believe the result that it gave into my plants, especially my interior plants. So I hope you stay tuned until the end. So just in case you want to transition your plants into this substrate, you have an idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's do the talking. Okay guys, I am so excited about these plants that I'll be showing with you because at first I don't know if it's going to work. I haven't heard anything or I haven't seen someone using this type of substrate. However, I've you know I've seen a lot of people using the ponds, the lechuza ponds that I'm talking about uh, from my last videos. And you guys, I am very convinced about using these substrate forever now into my plants because like I said it's been a month now and it's really fast like I've seen a good result into my plants especially getting healthy roots and showing a lot of you know growth into one plant so let's start with my Ethereum poppy hybrid it's a hybrid of Papi and Magnificum. You guys, you've seen this one in my video about plant hole from Indonesia. And as you guys can tell from that video, this plant is not really happy. And it's still not that, I'd say, hydrated well enough. However, now it's really healthy and you can tell it's getting taller as well. And you guys, I planted or I repotted, I should say, all these anthuriums that I have in here. May the 26th and we are now in June the 9th. And it's just, it blew me away of the growth and then the multiple roots that are growing in the bottom because it's really fast compared to my sphagnum moss, my perlite, and even the cocoa core that I am using for my propagation. So let me just show you closely about this new growth over here. This is the new leaf and you can really tell that it's i guess it's dark so this is how it looks with the shimmery of this one it's really beautiful you guys uh, i'm gonna steal one photo from one of my instagram friends i'm gonna pose it in here i mean a matured one so you guys have a reference on how it looks better in a matured form you guys can see in here and it's really beautiful and it's quite expensive as well however lux is still the expensive ones so that's the new growth i hope you can see that it's really beautiful you guys and the next one that i'll be showing with you is this little guy over here this is the inferior magnic magnificum so this one is a hybrid as well i'm not sure what uh, hybrid it crossed but this Inferium poppy x high magnificum is i think this is the one that i that i'm talking about the cross match for this one cross match the cross for this hybrid it's as you guys can tell they are quite the same however this is more darker so i'm very very happy because this one i got it from my plant hole the first if i'm not mistaken the first plant hole that i got from indonesia and it didn't really did well to me because i got that 
parcel from the customs and it's it's been a lot of you know struggle on how to get that one and it came to me really really busted like all the leaves didn't really survive because of the stress and pretty much all of the plants didn't really do well however i managed to save a stem for this one and look guys that's the new leaf so imagine i planted why do you keep saying planted i potted this one or transitioned this plant from being propagated into perlite and the moss into this substrate which is the pumice and labora <laughs> can you guys for almost i would say almost a week that's the new leaf yeah that's how it looks i'm gonna move it closer so this is the new growth of my Ethereum puppy hybrid x or cross of this plant over here i'm very very excited because they are loving these substrate you guys so pretty much i am using a tiny pumice and a medium course of lover they are very porous you guys i don't know i just don't know how they are working well into these substrate because it's really heavy i'm actually hesitant to place them in here because uh, i thought i would kill the roots in the stem but nope they're loving on it so can't say anymore about these ones so moving on into the next plant i am not sure what type of anthurium this one because i am propagating this one as well together with the hybrid magnificum that i have and uh, it suddenly pop a new growth which i cannot recognize what it what it is i hope you guys can see that oops the tiny leaf over there that's the one if you know what it is let me know comment down below that is my unknown Ethereum that is growing pretty well into the substrate. So the next one is my Belite. Oh no, sorry, Belite. <laughs> Bese, so I should say. So this is the Ethereum Bese. How I wish I have the Belite, but I don't have it. Anyhow, so this is my Ethereum Bessie or Bessie. This plant was really lumpy and I'd say not pretty healthy. There's no good source of roots. However, when I place this one into these substrate, you guys can tell they're very happy and this stem is really st strong now compared to the plant hole that I did from Indonesia. So you guys can tell that's the growth of my Bessie and, and I can see a new root that are showing here in the bottom. I hope you guys can see that. Buds. So these tiny buds, that is a new root that is coming out from the stem you guys i just cannot believe it's happy in this substrate so moving on into my next plant is my imperium crystallinum this one i'm not sure if this is the red crystallinum because i got this one as a bonus from the seller from indonesia and you guys I just want to show you that so this root here is the root that um, you know um, that's the new root that it's growing and I can see a lot of like uh, this one it's almost coming out I can see a new growth in this side as well 
but they are in the bottom like on top of the the rocks however it's in the middle like i don't know if you guys can see it clearly it's not really focusing well in the camera so i'm very happy so pretty much there are one two three four new growths that are coming out pretty soon can you imagine for this crystallinum all at once they are growing four in one stem so i'm very very happy especially the roots so i hope you can see this that's the new root and it's really healthy you guys this one that wine so i'm very happy because it's loving this some straight as well this one here my crystallinum x warakianum as you guys can tell the elongated shape and the you know preface of the crystallinum that's how you can tell right away it is hybrid and it's the same as the crystallinum that i showed you i can see ya if you can see that that's a new root and this is a new growth the red one and there is another here so it's like growing pretty well having out a lot like it's giving me a lot of growth in one in one stem and yeah that is my warakianum x crystallinum and it's healthy now as well as you guys can tell it's bouncing well and i notice the stem is sturdy compared from the last time one is my imperium poppy so this one is not a hybrid but this is a dark form and i showed you if you guys watch my indonesian plan hole you can tell that this one is pretty tiny and now it's healthy and it looks like the roots are matching in the middle of the rocks and as you guys can see that one is a new root that is growing and this one is the new leaf that's the new leaf i actually snap a little bit so if you guys can tell there is a tear on the side because i did this and it spread out and i accidentally ripped the side part so this is the poppy dark in a dark form i noticed the growth and it's getting taller it's getting healthier as well as you can tell it's bouncing it's very sturdy let me go into my pore metallicum this metallicum i've had it for quite some time now and i got this from aqua genera or aqua genera and i've had this from um it's living in my sphagnum moss and in, in my ikea greenhouse cabinet glass however i removed it because i didn't really know how to keep them happy inside and they are really the roots are really growing well because of the humidity however this plant is not really showing like a lot of you know growth that's why i place it into this one so this plant here is a pure pumice and it's pretty heavy because i i got nuts on that day and i placed all the pumice inside and that's what i did so pretty much it is living in the pumice since the day one that i transitioned this one so this one is only the pumice and as you guys can tell there is a new growth i hope you can see that let me see that red here it's pretty deep oh my god my camera is not really working well so bear with it so this one here 
Anyway, so this is my Ethereum Metallicum and it's living in the pomace. So I guess you don't need the Lavara, but if you want to have it more porous about, you know, the roots and the stem of the Ethereum plants, you can mix them together or you can add a different uh, substrate like I'm going to show you one I placed lava rock pumice in bark and you guys it's growing well and like you said this one I'm only using a pure pumice so pretty much this metallicum this metallicum is doing well in the substrate so if you are on the budget and you don't want to buy both lava rock and pumice you can try either or it will still work moving on i just want to show you my first plant that i showed you on my ethereum regal and lux so this and ethereum regal it's living in the pumice and lava rock and it's doing well you guys the roots are crazy in the bottom so here she is now that is this is my Ethereum regal and the growth it's still going on but it's slowly compared to my water can my water can that I'll be showing you later on however the roots are crazy here you guys so that's the roots in the bottom I hope can see so that's the brood in the bottom and here as well so as you guys can tell it's pretty healthy like I thought it's gonna mess up all the roots I thought it's going to break but that's not the case so and this one this regal is pretty healthy I don't have any problem knock on the wood so far from transitioning my Goku core perlite and bark into these substrate I don't have any problem when it comes to fungus nuts and especially thrips so I guess this is pretty well or pretty good when it comes to preventing pests on your Ethereum plants this is my Ethereum water can I changed the pot from the first time I showed you guys in the first uh, video that I showed you and this is the new growth now so the one that I showed you from the first one what so redundant so the first video that I showed you it's not growing yet or it's not showing the new leaf however this is my queen of anthurium now it's growing pretty well it's getting bigger and you know longer so compared to my face that's how it is the size it's still juvenile you guys can tell it's not matured yet and it's still growing so i'm very happy i have the queen in my hand finally making her happy here she is now living in my lava rock and palm is so yep as you guys can see or if you will if you want to see the video this one it's in a wrong pot and it's just living in the pumice however when i bought a new rocks because i wanted to buy more i mix the lava rock into the pumice so for the last plant that i will be showing with you is growing or living in lava rock pumice and bark all in all it's in a medium course you guys are hearing that's my daughter's voice she's playing with the dad this is the plant that i'm trying to experiment this is my drizzlery and ace of a spade and i am growing it into the bark that's how it looks that's the bark and then the pumice Pretty much they ran out of a tiny, you know, tiny one. That's why I got the medium course. And then the lava rock. Let me find a lava. I cannot find one. 
There you go. That's the lava rock. That's how it looks. I hope it will focus. Yeah, that's the one. So that's how it looks inside. And if you guys are seeing, that's a new grove. Oh, let me see if I can get closer. In just a week. Well, not even a week. Because uh, I've seen it really well into this substrate. So, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys want to try this type of substrate, you don't have to, you know, mix uh, lava rock and bark. Because as from my experience, you can grow your anthurium or, I guess, any plants you have philodendron, you can try to use just bark you can try to use pomace or the lava rock because they are very porous you don't have to worry about root rot and getting pests into your plants which again i'm knocking on the wood so far i'm not really seeing any flying nuisance insects or predator here in my plan so that's pretty much it guys thank you again for watching and thank you for listening about my Ethereum plans like i said if you want to try to use this substrate you guys feel free to do it but do it one plan at a time so you guys know what's the experience i hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up until the next video bye for now